Hello, my name's Tony Murphy and I work for Phonak UK. Uh, my official job title is Wireless Technology Specialist and really my role is involved with the Roger Technologies, Bluetooth or any kind of wireless technology. What I'm going to introduce you to today is something called the spin test or speech and noise test, which I think most teachers of the deaf will be familiar with. We're then going to introduce some of the Roger technology, which is essentially what this system is all about, and look at the benefits of the radio A technology and particularly Roger in the louder environments. Essentially, any wireless microphone will help, you know, it's just basic physics, but at the same time, you cannot control that noise levels. Basic technologies such as Bluetooth, low energy, et cetera, et cetera, are really gonna be appropriate only to about 65 dB. So I'm gonna put 70 dB of noise onto these hearing aids. We can put the Roger technology on there and hopefully we'll see the benefit of the two. As I mentioned before, we've got about 72 dB at the hearing aids, just generated from this little Bluetooth speaker. And you may think 72 is quite loud. Obviously, it is quite loud. We want to do that for, you know, for this challenging experiment. But really, on average, the latest studies would suggest the average noise level within the school classroom is round about 72 dB. So yes, it may be sometimes at 60, maybe sometimes at 65. It could time sometimes even be at 80. You just really don't know. And any radio wave system, simply by wearing a microphone close to the person speaking, will give some advantage. However, unfortunately, we can't change the laws of physics yet again, and it's all about the signal-to-noise ratio between the hearing aid technology and the radio aid microphone itself. And if you're using the more basic Bluetooth types of technology, really, once you're getting above 65 dB level, that signal-to-noise ratio just won't be there. And remember, a child may need up to 10, maybe even 20 dB SNR to actually understand what's being said. Now remember, Roger is an adaptive system. Uh, so what it will do is measure the rate of the noise increase and the actual level of the noise. So now you may not be at full kind of adaptive again. But as we move back, we'll let the Roger system adapt to the environment. And hopefully what you can hear is the gradual increase in output volume level and my speech improving. I move back again, let it do some adaption to the environment. Move back again, and hopefully what you can hear now is you can still hear my voice coming through okay. But the really interesting thing is if I just stay here. And here's my transmitter. It's exactly the situation was with the hearing aids. And it's strong to spend, you can't really hear much of use of that now. So in summation, we have a set of hearing aids that could be representative of mild hearing loss. We're playing 70 dB noise floor uh, at the back there, which is calibrated to be about 70 dB at the hearing aid. And I think you can see quite clearly from those recordings the ability of the Roger to overcome noise in those difficult listening situations. Now we have much evidence on this, so you can look on our website if you wish. Uh, but again, as we mentioned earlier, you know, if you have a more basic so we say non-adaptive system, but equivalent to some of the basic Bluetooth mice that we use perhaps, you know, they're fine up to around about 65 dB, but as soon as you go above that, you will start to struggle. And remember, a child will need a greater SNR than an adult to actually hear in those difficult listening situations. And again, if you can guarantee that that particular child is never gonna be above 65 dB, and certainly never gonna be about more than two or three meters away from the person they're talking to, then fair enough, you know, use one of those systems. But as we've mentioned before, Roger is clinically proven to help in these difficult situations.